Oh, okay, for the seventeenth time in the row, in a row, <laughs> we're doing. In a row. That that because we've taken like seventeen times. We're doing Tech Talks number four for the fourth week in a row because <laughs> we're professionals, and we're not doing yep. it live because we ha I have plans. He I'm not sure about and him. He's probably just doing both. Yeah, I, I do. I do have plans, so. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be going up at 7 p.m. Um, that's gonna be the normal time. Oh. Um, when we do live stream it, I guess. <laughs> Cause... Maybe maybe I'll just upload it yeah. right after. Yeah. You know, um. Know. So do you want to start with your topic since I only have two? <laughs> okay. Well, there's this new coding game where you can score a coding job. It's called Code Flights, Fight. and basically the Code flights for some reason. Oh, fights. Okay. For some I had to fix I that because I looked at the website and it was fights. Oh, for some reason I I went on the fucking CNN page and I copied the link and it said <laughs> fucking code flights for some reason. Okay. There is a new game out where it'll help you learn code and get a job. It's called Code Fights. They have many different languages from Python to Java. If you're really good at coding, you might just get a job. Uh, a job offer pop up will come up saying, "Would you like a job at Blink? This company liked your skills." I thought that it was pretty cool. Basically, all because... it takes is going on like the internet forums and asking for help. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, you. I feel like they could figure it out after you got there and you couldn't code. Uh, that would be a good game show, actually. Like just having. <laughs> A show where people see how long they can last doing a like job yeah. before the, it gets figured out <laughs> that they're using just the internet forms. Yeah. Yeah. So. It is. Fun, what do you think? Way. Um, you know, yeah, okay. pretty cool. You could, as I said, just use the internet forms to get like one of your buddies yeah. to help. But you know, I feel like. If you were going to get a job at the company, they would probably test you a little better. Yeah. Not just, oh, okay. We're just going to go let you do that. And, you know, we'll check back and make sure that it's working by the time that that's done. Yeah. So. I, I mean, it's kind of cool that there's websites like this now. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if I were to be a coder, which I would kind of like to be, but I feel like YouTube, you know, that's way more entertaining than sitting in front yeah. of a computer. Which is still the same thing when you think about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, but, so you I know, tech not building computers and playing games as a job would be really fun. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I wanted to do YouTube. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it was a job. So you know what? We'll we'll go through all of my topics. No, we'll go we'll through two of yours. Then we'll do one of mine. Then we'll do two more of yours. <laughs> okay, that works. So DJI announces a more affordable Phantom Four drone, which really it's not really that more affordable. I don't. I like think it's actually bucks. more expensive. It it's literally like Phantom Four, Phantom bucks Advanced, Phantom below. Pro. So the DJI people. Or Phantom Pro is new fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. And then the whatever the other It'll... Phantom is, I'll, you keep talking. Okay. It will now be the Phantom Four Advanced and the Phantom Four Pro. And then the upgrade. Phantom Four Advanced is one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. See, it's like really net. Then the Phantom much. Four is one thousand two hundred bucks. So it's literally more expensive, but they call it a budget price. Yeah, you can get a refurbished one for like eight hundred bucks. Okay. But basically, it has some new upgrades, and it it'll come with a one inch twenty megapixel sensor that can shoot four K video at sixty frames per second. New automatic flight modes. They improve the internal storage and battery life. Uh, now you can put in one hundred twenty gigabyte micro SD card and now you'll have 30 minutes of battery life. I'm pretty sure it was only like 15 before. I have no idea. I think it was around 20 to 30. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, why wouldn't you just get like the Phantom 3 standard? That's only 500 yeah. bucks and you're still getting 2.7k yeah. camera. That's, that's pretty 25 much 25 minutes of flight time, 12 megapixel photos, like, why? They literally 
that's all that they improved on the Phantom 4 Advanced. The difference between the uh, Advanced and the Pro is there is only one front-facing obstacle avoidance. So, And then the Pro has all the way around four sides, and it comes with a screen. I mean, don't get me instead. wrong. I like all of their drones, but, yeah. like... I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool, but I was like, really, that's... I think the Mavic is really cool. Yeah. I'd rather get the Mavic. Well, really, if I could, I would get the Mavic, but I'd also like that one yeah. GoPro. Um, yeah, the GoPro Karma. Yeah. Yeah, see. I know drones. No. No, I just know it's that one GoPro one. It's 800 bucks and it doesn't even come with a camera. <laughs> so, you know, really? Yeah. It didn't even come... It's fucking retarded. Or, okay, I, thought it comes yeah, I don't with think one. it did, but... It comes with the Karma controller, drone, the... Uh, gyre, or what is it called? Like, stabilizing thing, the charger, well, yeah, and the then battery, six propellers. I thought I'd be able to get that, because the then the, the gyroscope comes out, and then you can use it on your GoPro. I think it's like, kind of nice that they didn't just make it compatible with the 5, so if you already yeah. have a Hero 4, it's just compatible with that. But I don't really like the Hero 5s, because if you get the lens scratched, you have to get a whole new camera. Versus really? the older one. Yeah, because I don't think you can replace the lens without, like, modifying it. So, if you scratched up the, like, glass encasing, which is kind of, like, why I don't like mine, is because if that happens, I have to get a whole new camera. You ha It's, like, with the older ones, you break the case, you just get a new case, you know. But with these ones, it's, like, built into the housing. I do like the session though, like the session, the yeah. GoPro session. I thought that's more cool. understandable that it doesn't have because a case. it's well, yeah, because it's super small for a it's camera. Two hundred bucks and the four yeah. is two hundred bucks, then the session two is like three hundred. So you no. Know. Yeah. But you know they've got voice control on cameras, and I don't really understand that. Because it's a camera. <laughs> Who needs location data? No. It'd be kind of cool, but also not. And this is where we got from fucking drones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we're professional. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to edit this one. Uh, if yeah. I don't get bored. I might make him edit it. Oh. Well, hey, I have more articles this time, so... Yeah. Okay. Then you should have to edit it. I'm the one that's always edited. Well, Rarely. yeah, but normally we did it live, so... Yeah, but I did some editing before I uploaded it to oh. podcasts. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we should probably get back on topic. Okay, yeah. What, do you want me to do another one? Since you still have... I'll like, do it. I'll do it, man. Come on. Don't worry about it. Windows could be a service. Hey, Ubuntu, where are you at? I'm going to need to switch if this becomes a thing. Microsoft is seriously considering running Windows on the cloud. Ever since Microsoft was concerning buying Citrix, which, was, which is a cloud service for running an OS on a server, um, it's kind of cool, you know, like, you can, like, uh, see, a business would use this, like, they'd have one really fast server with, like, 30 cores or something, and then they'd be able to, like, stream the EOS at a high bandwidth to, like, a bunch of Raspberry Pis, I guess. So that'd be kind of cool, but hmm. then again, build PC, Master Race. Woo, Nazis! <laughs> I don't get why people use Master Race, because that's a term that Nazis used. <laughs> um... So I mean, Citrix, yeah. is it's pretty cool, but having this forced on users, having Windows forced on users as a cloud service, is a horrible thing to do. What happens when so many, when this happens, so many people will switch from to something like Ubuntu, and if this happens, all the elderly people who have only used Windows since their first computer would likely have issues learning a whole new OS, although Ubuntu isn't very hard for me to understand. Yeah. I'm someone who would prefer screwing around on a PC instead of going outside or any other form of work. To add to that, most of my we weekend has been spent using a writing a script 
making a technology video on Raspberry Pi, or me just goofing off to see how much I can mess up a Raspberry Pi. To add to this, I still have trouble installing things on like Ubuntu without the terminal. So there would have to be even more support for graphics cards and games at, that would have to be added to Linux, just as well as program support, because there's pretty much nothing. And yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's pretty retarded that they actually want to try to run it as a service. They haven't announced it, but the yeah. signs are all there. Because they're thinking about buying Citrix, someone that hosts the OS on the cloud. Sort of. But, I don't know. I don't, what do you think of this? I mean, other than stupid. I don't know, I don't think that it'd work that way for people actually using it. Yeah, I feel like you'd have to have like two, ma like Amazon, they ho have like a bunch of server hosting locations, which is most of their locations, so I feel like they would host a lot of it off of Amazon servers because they've got a bunch of high speed servers. In fact, um, I don't know if, you, yeah, you have used them, but Minecraft Realms, I don't mm -hmm. know if anyone else has used them, but those are actually hosted off of Amazon servers. So, I mean, it's not too bad, but it's also fairly crap. Like, the server yeah. lags fairly easily. And, you know, I don't know how well that would work if you had to, say, like, render out something for DaVinci Resolve. Because that already, like, basically makes it so I can't do anything else on my computer when I set the speed to max. And even if it's not on max, it still lags crap on my computer and uses, like, 4 to 8 gigs of RAM. At all times. So yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. And again, I'm not the average computer user. <laughs> Next topic. You want to do your? No, do yours. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so basically, Microsoft might soon let you return digital Xbox and Windows game purchases. They're reportedly experimenting it with allowing customers to request self-service refunds for digitally downloaded games, Xbox One and Windows 10. The feature is limited like for select members that are on the Xbox Insider program. It does have some re restrictions. Customers can only request refunds on games or apps through Microsoft website within 14 days of the purchase if the game hasn't has been used for less than two hours. So basically and, Steam. Yeah, and you have to be at least at least open it once in order to request a refund. And you cannot uh, get refunds for DLC season passes or add-ons. I think Steam is like two months instead of two yeah. weeks. But if you've played less than two hours, it's like that on Steam. But I don't really understand why this isn't a thing, or why this hasn't been I'm a thing for everything. longer. Um, I don't know. See, it, it doesn't always make sense to get a game out, like, from a store, so I can see why people... I mean, I would honestly prefer buying a game online and yeah. having to wait to download it than having to put it on a disc and having to switch it out. Which is, I kind of feel like, why people hate DRM so much. Because I, I, if I, if it wasn't illegal, I would be using like a thing like Plex to stream all of my movies instead of having yeah. to like switch out a disc. Plus, it takes so long to find movies. <laughs> I don't even know where they are right now. So you know, Ow. it's especially bad when there's those like TV shows discs where you have to like swap out in mid episode <laughs> or movie sometimes. Yeah. Then this is going to become more of, more and more of a problem with companies becoming more greedy the more this happens. With the yeah, pretty. Much. And you know, it's kind of sad that you can't and there's no ways that you can buy them online or even like cuz like, I think the only reason 
main reason I would want to stream my movies from my computer is because I really think it's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I I have my GoPro stuff set up with the as you guys have seen, and I have a separate hard drive on my computer just for that. But even then, it's so dumb. But yeah, what what do you? You, you want to do another topic, or you can just do whatever you think. Um, I guess I'll talk about Elon Musk. So, apparently they are going to unveil a electric semi-truck in September. Which I thought was pretty weird, because, yeah. I mean, yeah, electric cars can't go very far, and if try to drive with Actually, a semi. Actually, I think Teslas are fairly... Here, it's here. a few hundred miles, but if you think about it, their on their website semi trucks are driving very far. So, yeah. Tesla CEO Elon Musk says they're, they will be unveiling its electric semi truck this September, calling the vehicle seriously next level. Well, with a tes well, with a semi, there is more room for like a battery. Yeah. 315 miles on like the best battery That's okay elon trying. musk also revealed that tesla will be unveiling an electric pickup truck within the next 18 to 24 months and the next tesla roadster sports car will be a convertible elon musk says well said last year that model x based tesla mini buses will be also be unveiled at some point in 2017 as of now they have no idea when so they'll like actually be put into buses. production I guess because it's based off of a Model X, so it's not going to be huge. Oh. oh, the Model Xs are the SUVs. Plus, the school would have to be fucking rich to be able to yeah. buy Tesla school buses. You know, what do you ride at home in every, every day? A fucking, uh, Tesla. A fucking Tesla school <laughs> bus. <laughs> I, I mean, it would be pretty badass because they're yeah. already like super high quality cars. So. I mean, it wouldn't be the schools paying for it either. It would be, like, bus companies. So yeah. maybe Tesla's open on a bus company. You never know. They could. I know. Probably wouldn't be in very many places. Oh, yeah. You're ruining it for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to do your other No, I'll do one topic. more. Okay, because it's, it's my last topic. Yeah, that's also my last topic. Okay. <laughs> So, a hacker activated all of Dallas, uh, Dallas's emergency sirens with a radio signal, which I thought that that was kind of surprising that they could do that. But a hacker activated all 156 tornadoes by radio signal. A city official says that Dallas sirens are controlled by radio signals, not computers and software, and that is why it was so vulnerable in the radio system that allowed them to attack them. Many warning systems rely on radio transmissions for activation, sometimes listening for similar to a phone's dial tone. Or, well, and it was a major problem because they did not use encrypted radio signals. Cool. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I thought... Is it that much of a deal, though? I mean... I mean, it was kind of a big deal when it all were going off for like two oh, hours. Oh, I thought it was street lights for a second. Sorry. No, it wasn't street lights. It was. Yeah, oh, shut up! I didn't read the title. I just. I feel like it'd be kind of fucking. I feel like it'd get old after listening to it for like twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, it happened people would have gone I'm to sure. their, like shelters. Yeah, I'm it's pretty just, sure like, it happened. Out. Yeah. No, I think it was, like, nighttime, like, 8 o'clock at night. Which... I have two topics. I added one. Okay, well, you can talk about your topics. $80,000 iPhone. Can um, you know no, it's for charity. It's bidding Linus oh. Tech Tips. It was that blue iPhone, you know? Oh. So, um, it's an iPhone that it has 104 bids, and it's 80 grand. Um, the nice. last one was two days ago for $80,397. Cheap. 
the yeah the change. first bit the starting price was sixty nine cents. <laughs> that would have been awesome if someone wanted it for sixty nine cents. Though. Yep. So it's going to um, the Testicular Cancer Foundation. Um, it's, well, I mean, it's good. One hundred percent of that. So eighty grand. Suck. Yeah, you, you had big balls there for a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> so you know it's. It's a company that tries to help people with te testicular cancer. Um, yeah. Um, it's just an iPhone 7. Red. It's a red iPhone 7, but it comes with two D-brand skins. Oh. Uh -huh. And it's got a picture of that, like, Luke guy from Line of Sec Tips. Nice. Holding it. Um, a new unused item with absolutely no signs of where the item is in, is in its original packaging, but not. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I didn't think anyone would buy it, but considering it's for charity, I bet someone would yeah. buy it. Something about NASA finding some more places that could support life in our solar system... So Europa, you know, that's already like that moon around Jupiter that my phone's ringtone is that named after for some reason. And that's got water. Um, it's like, I think the whole thing is water. It's got an ocean like 65 kilometers deep. But now to add on to that, it's like all there's a new planet, or Jupe moon that we already knew about that's orbiting Saturn and that's taken like 12 years to get this data like to prove that we're right. What we found on, like, geysers on the moon, or on, yeah, on the moon, and it's, like, shooting up methane and all that hydrogen. I think it was just methane, but, you know, um, that means it's, like, warmer there, too, so that means it's, like, this, like, magical, like, warmth. So, so this could mean that there's life, since those are, like, we now know in that area that there has been three of the ingredients for life, which are, what is it? And I forget. Uh, ingredients. Okay, I'm just gonna name one, which I bet it is. It's probably water. You yeah, know? water. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. So water, and then there's like carbon, hydrogen, or it's like oxygen, water all those goodness. Air. Then there's got to be uh, no, yeah, but nitrogen, all that good stuff. And then there's got to be time. There's one more I've forgotten about. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have time. We don't know if the time's there yet. But, here. Ingredients for life, guys. Ingredients for life. <laughs> so as long as I put that in, like, some container, shake it up, and boom, I got some. <laughs> no, no. It's like, I'm going to the NASA's. So you need to have freaking if NASA would actually help me, their website said ingredients for life. <laughs> no. So essentially, we have three of the ingredients for life, but we're not sure if there's been enough time on the planet for it to produce life. Essentially. Pretty much all I can say about that is it. it you know, it'd be cool to have the extra like. I hate those people, people on Earth that are like, yo. No, that's not what life means, because we're pretty but, sure there isn't but, advanced life in our solar system. But, yeah. But also, like, uh, what's his name? Steve Hawking says? Stephen. Yeah, Stephen Hawking. Whatever. I was trying to think of his name on the spot, but, you know. So, I just said all that on the spot. Yeah. I didn't take any notes. So, yeah, so basically, what he says is, why do you keep trying to have people come to our planet? Don't reach out to them. Because we have a lot of water and obviously like ingredients for life, so they'd obviously want to come here and take it from us. Oh, you need so. hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur for life. Yeah. And then there's water, and then the other one. <laughs> yeah, but I can kind of see why the, the, we don't want life coming here, but. Chances are, if life is intelligent enough to come here, they're probably not going to have bad intentions. 
I'm well, just yeah. saying. Well, yeah, but they they're probably a lot more advanced, so they could probably just like blow us up in like four seconds. <laughs> okay, how many species are gonna be like, yeah, let's go blow up these guys? You know, we don't even know if they're good yet. You know. Well, yeah, but all I'm saying, if the aliens can hear us, don't be. Dead. They can't hear us. We don't. Well, there, you it's know what? Physical information cannot travel faster than light. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm it it hasn't even been for, long enough to. For, for it's all you know. This, this is a theory. People oh have said that people could live amongst us, and we won't even know. Oh my god! Yeah, Freaking yeah. You're making bringing me. up. I'm just bringing up so many conspiracy theories that I think they're kind of retarded. <laughs> no, we're now you have to use that because otherwise my school will give me detention. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm playing the X-Files music. Only 30 seconds, so... <laughs> okay, that's as long as much as I'm gonna play so we don't get sued. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we got three of the ingredients for life, and we don't know if we've done enough time. Thanks for watching Tech Talks. It's only been 26 minutes. Yeah. It's it's really short this week, but we figured we at least still tune on and inform you. So yeah, yeah, well, this is essentially one of those like archive podcasts. Yeah, pretty much. Because I feel like we should record like an emergency, uh, whatever happens happens, and uh, emergency tech talks. So that if we do forget to do it, or if neither of us are available, we can still at least get one out. Well, you know, we kind of needed one for this week, and. We're both gonna be gone, so we just we're recording this before the so. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I'll probably be more interested in editing this because it's not an hour and a half long. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, <laughs> and uh, tune back in for next time, which will probably actually be live. Hopefully. Hopefully, Hopefully you'll have like an i7 by then. Yeah. But you won't. So I won't because that's next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just, like, find one on the middle of the street. Yep. Where was Linus Media Group's office? Yeah, I'll just go break into there. You mm -hmm. know, just, yep, totally realistic. Yeah, they don't but, have, like, by security. The way, cops, by the way, cops, that wasn't a threat. I was just joking. And Did you just assume my gender? Yeah, I'm gonna attack helicopter. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> But yeah, uh, is that all for now? Yeah, so uh, I guess we've landed now. Bye. Yeah, bye. Well, the Minnesota goodbye.